Welcome to the wonderful world of hand luggage screening. Listen, we've all been there, haven't we? Standing in line at airport security, desperately trying to remember which bag has your laptop in it while simultaneously willing the person in front of you to move their inexplicably large family a little bit faster. It's a uniquely stressful experience, but a necessary one. Because while you're frantically trying to avoid making eye contact with the TSA agent, those fine folks are actually preventing a whole host of prohibited items from making their way onto your flight. From the understandable, like oversized bottles of shampoo, to the genuinely terrifying. So today we're going to pull back the curtain on the surprisingly complex world of hand luggage screening and learn a little something about the crucial role it plays in keeping our skies safe. All right, let's be honest, nobody actually enjoys the hand luggage screening process. It's right up there with being put on hold and discovering your headphone battery is at 2%, right as you're about to board a long flight. But uh, despite the occasional inconvenience, hand luggage screening is a non-negotiable aspect of modern air travel, and for good reason. It's the crucial line of defense that prevents potentially dangerous items from entering the aircraft cabin, ensuring the safety of everyone on board. Think of it as the slightly annoying bouncer at a very exclusive club, except instead of checking for a dress code, they're making sure you haven't brought along any explosives or, you know, a full-sized bottle of shampoo. We've all seen the signs, the seemingly endless lists of prohibited items from the obvious, like firearms and explosives, to the slightly more perplexing, like those adorable, oversized tubes of toothpaste you can only seem to find at Duty Free. But these regulations are in place for a reason, and understanding why certain items are forbidden is key to understanding the importance of hand luggage screening. Let's face it, our carry-on bags are a deeply personal reflection of our travel anxieties. A carefully curated collection of essentials we convince ourselves we absolutely cannot live without for the duration of our flight. But while most of us stick to the usual suspects, headphones, snacks, a neck pillow that inexplicably resembles a giant sausage, there are some items that, while seemingly innocuous, can raise eyebrows at security. Liquids, for example, those pesky little vials of shampoo and toothpaste, are subject to strict regulations thanks to their potential to be used as components in improvised explosive devices. Then there are sharp objects, from nail clippers to pocket knives, which, while perfectly acceptable in your checked luggage, are a big no-no in your carry-on, for reasons that should be fairly self-explanatory. And of course, we can't forget about electronics, laptops, tablets, and even those suspiciously large headphones your teenage son insists on wearing everywhere are all scrutinized, not because they're inherently dangerous, but because they can be used to conceal more nefarious items. So, you've successfully navigated the initial x-ray screening, your bag gliding effortlessly through the scanner like a penguin on ice. But wait, what's this? The conveyor belt grinds to a halt, a security officer approaches, and suddenly you're being escorted to a separate area for secondary screening. Don't panic, it's not necessarily time to brush up on your Miranda rights. Secondary screening is simply a precautionary measure triggered when an item in your bag requires further inspection. This could be anything from a suspicious looking object to a simple case of overlapping items obscuring a clear view on the x-ray. Manual searches are the most common form of secondary screening, allowing security personnel to physically inspect the contents of your bag. Swab tests are another tool in their arsenal, used to detect trace amounts of explosives or other prohibited substances. And in some cases, additional checks such as questioning by security personnel, might be necessary to clarify any concerns. While the responsibility for maintaining aviation security ultimately lies with trained professionals, passengers play a crucial role in ensuring a smooth and efficient screening process. Think of it as a collaborative effort, a symphony of efficiency where everyone plays their part to keep things moving along. First and foremost, familiarize yourself with the rules and regulations regarding prohibited items. This might seem obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people try to sneak a prohibited item through security, claiming ignorance as their defense. Next, pack smartly. 
Organize your belongings in a way that allows for easy inspection, avoiding unnecessary clutter and strategically placing items like laptops and liquids in easily accessible compartments. And when it's your turn at the checkpoint, follow the instructions of security personnel. Remove your shoes, belt and any metal objects and place them in the designated bins. The world of aviation security is constantly evolving with new technologies emerging to combat ever sophisticated threats. One such innovation is the advent of three-dimensional scanners, which provide a more detailed and comprehensive view of bag contents, allowing security personnel to identify potential threats with even greater accuracy. These cutting-edge scanners already being implemented at airports around the world are game changers, significantly reducing the need for time-consuming manual inspections. Another exciting development is the integration of artificial intelligence into the screening process. AI algorithms trained on vast databases of images and threat profiles can analyze X-ray scans in real time, flagging potential threats and assisting security personnel in making faster, more informed decisions. These advancements, while still in their early stages, hold immense promise for the future of aviation security, making the screening process faster, more efficient, and most importantly, even more secure. So, there you have it. A glimpse into the surprisingly complex and often underappreciated world of hand luggage screening. We've explored the crucial role it plays in aviation security, delved into the technology and expertise behind it, and even learned how to make the process a little less painful for everyone involved. But the most important takeaway is this. Aviation security is a shared responsibility. While trained professionals are on the front lines, it's up to all of us to stay informed, follow the rules, and do our part to keep the skies safe. Remember, a little preparation and a healthy dose of patience can go a long way in ensuring a smooth and secure journey for everyone. So next time you're at the airport, take a moment to appreciate the hard work and dedication of those tasked with keeping us safe. And remember that slightly inconvenient screening process, it's there for a reason. Look, nobody enjoys the TSA line. It's a necessary evil like dental cleanings or listening to your uncle rant about politics at Thanksgiving. But hopefully this video has given you a newfound appreciation for the surprisingly complex and vital role hand luggage screening plays in keeping our skies safe. Next time you're tempted to stuff that oversized bottle of shampoo in your carry-on, remember the dedicated individuals working behind the scenes to ensure the safety of your flight. They're the real heroes, even if they do confiscate your ridiculously large tube of toothpaste. So be kind, be prepared, and maybe pack a few extra snacks. Because let's be honest, airport food is its own special kind of torture.